Hello again and welcome to Tablet Guide. This time we're looking at the Huion Inspiroi RTP700 graphics tablet. Huion have been busy recently releasing three new tablets, the RTS300, the small one, the RTM500, the medium one, and this, the RTP700, the large one. If you've watched the other reviews first, you'll have some idea of what to expect. Packaged in the same, albeit bigger, Huion branded box is the tablet, USB port on the side, ribbon for the pen, and the rubber feet on the back to keep it still on the desk while drawing. It's nice and light, but it's fairly big. You also get the quick start guide, spare pen nibs, OTG adapter, good old USB-C cable, a pen holder, and reassuringly the pen itself, the new PW400 from Huion. Once you've gone to Huion's website and installed the latest drivers, it's a simple matter of just connecting the two devices together. And we're ready to go. Down the left side of the tablet are six touch keys and a handy touch strip. This is great for zooming in and out of the artwork and adjusting brush size. Just as it was on the other tablet, the pen does make quite a scratchy sound. Before we move on, here's some more technical details about the pen and the tablet for all you geeks out there. Here's what the driver software looks like. The same software is shared across the three new tablets, but each device is detected once it's plugged in and the relevant options are displayed for that device. You can adjust pen pressure, reassign keys, back up your settings, check for software updates, and even change the interface color. Although the novelty of that is wearing off somewhat after all these reviews. Although quite a large tablet, it does weigh only 630 grams and is easy enough to transport around as it's only 8.5mm high. Huion's new PW400 pen, with its new appearance, is shared also across all three tablets. On the right hand side of the tablet is the small ribbon adorned with Huion's logo for keeping your pen in its place. To be honest, I'd use the pen holder instead. Huion's new PW400 pen with its new appearance is shared across all three of their new tablets. It's battery free, supports 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt. Perfect for all those shading fans out there. The pen resolution is 580 LPI with a report rate of greater than 300 PPS. Will that make you draw better? Probably not. Practice will. The pen is very light and feels nice to hold with its anti-slip silicone grip around the two buttons. 
The two buttons by default are set to right click and eraser, but you can reassign these in the driver software. Available in two colours, Cosmo Black and Twilight Blue, this pen tablet certainly looks the part, it's very stylish. Like its smaller siblings, it has what Huey and call a starry texture sheet across the tablet surface, which they claim not only enables a pen on paper drawing experience, it does feel good, but also an anti-fingerprint function. Like the other tablet too, this didn't really work well for me, but after plugging it all in and pressing a couple of shortcut keys, there was a few black smudges along the tablet's left side. Maybe I need a doctor. This is a nice size device to draw on. The work area of 11 inch by 6.875 inch sits within a 345.6mm by 214.8mm overall tablet size. From top to bottom along the left side are six touch keys and a touch strip. These can be disabled in the driver software, in case you accidentally keep pressing them I guess. But although not usually a fan of tablet shortcuts, I found these quite useful. They are totally flush with the tablet surface, and overall the whole thing looks cool. Should you get the urge to draw on your Android only smartphone or tablet, simply use the provided OTG adapter and you'll be good to go. If you're left-handed, don't worry, this tablet should still be on your wants list. The USB-C cable can be plugged in either way around and you can rotate the settings in the driver software. As expected, you can use this tablet with all the major programs and applications from all the leading creative software companies like Adobe, Corel, Clip Studio Paint, Critter, on Windows 7 or later, Mac OS 10, 12 or later, and Android 6 or later. I used Photoshop CC on Windows for the accompanying video review and illustration and had no problems at all with this tablet. The pen pressure worked perfectly and the line worked tapered as expected. Although made of plastic, the tablet does feel very sturdy to work on. touch keys in the strip have started to win me over. Using these became second nature in my time using this tablet and certainly sped up the illustration process. The RTP700 has six shortcut keys as opposed to the four on the RTM500 so I kept forgetting to use the extra ones.
Cubion and also XP Pen are producing some pretty cool products now at really competitive prices, seriously giving Wacom a run for their money. You no longer need to spend a fortune on getting kitted out of all the latest and greatest digital art equipment. The hardest decision you'll need to know is which one to get. The overall drawing experience with this tablet was great. I can thoroughly recommend this to anyone looking to get a new device. Why not kick back, relax and watch the illustrator do his thing? Well, well me actually. Well, that wraps up yet another tablet review don't forget to comment below like subscribe to this channel and we'll see you next time which will probably be in 10 minutes when Hurium release yet another tablet <laughs>